Why is heavy metal poisoning so important to you? My friend, if you are living in a town or a city or you're traveling anywhere near a town or a city, well, you probably are if you're watching this, then you've probably got some heavy metal poisoning taking place. But of course, in this day and age, it's so easy not to notice. So there are some symptoms and giveaway signs that heavy metal poisoning is affecting you. The first one, without a shadow of a doubt, is a lack of energy. What do I mean by that? Well, every single cell in your body has something called a mitochondria. It's an energy factory. It needs the movements of nutrients, the movements of sodium and potassium and all sorts of micronutrients in and out without any kind of blockage, without any kind of disturbance. But here's what happens. When you pick up heavy metals, then your cells, which allow the ionic exchange, meaning the exchange of nutrients, minerals to happen, they get blocked by heavy metals like cadmium arsenic, lead, iron, copper. There's a whole bunch of heavy metals, not just one or two or half a dozen, loads and loads of heavy metals, which could be damaging, destroying your health. An example is when you take cells which are totally blocked by heavy metals and instead of using oxygen to produce energy, fermentation takes place within the cell. You know what that leads to? Cancer. So this is a very important topic. Let's go over some of the issues relating to heavy metal. Several common symptoms of heavy metal poisoning include diarrhea, nausea, abdominal pain, vomiting, shortness of breath, tingling in your hands and feet, and chills, as well as a sense or a feeling of physical weakness, which will obviously have an effect on your mental state. Heavy metal poisoning happen not just because you smoke cigarettes or you are living in an area where there's pollution from cars, but you can also be working or living near a hazardous waste site or even passing by. It could be other environmental pollutions caused by factory smoke or farming pollution. It could be caused by the consumption of insecticides through your foods. It could be through contaminated seafood or algae, contaminated water, or your home environment, meaning the infrastructure of your house has got something like lead built into it. A lot of people have no idea that cosmetics can very often have heavy metals, so many different types of toxins in there. Now there's a number of tests you can do to check that you've got heavy metal poisoning and they include a urine test, a liver test. Your liver is very, very essential in detoxifying your body from heavy metals. But if your liver has been polluted with heavy metals, what next? And you know, because your liver is such an important detoxification organ, when you develop cancer of the liver, then your life is very likely going to end. Very few people survive liver cancer. That's at least the case when I used to sell medical equipment to surgeons who are specializing in cancer treatment. You can also test for heavy metal poisoning through hair analysis, fingernail analysis, as well as x-rays and electrocardiograms. So there's a whole bunch of ways. But the truth is most of us have got heavy metal poisoning. I want to share with you several different ways to detoxify, detoxify toxins, getting rid of the toxins, your body of heavy metals. One of them is very important. It is to take a substance called chlorella. Chlorella is an algae which has been dried up and you can buy that in tablet form or powder form which you mix in a drink. Now, when I first saw chlorella, it looked yucky. It looked like swamp juice. In fact, that's what I used to call it, swamp juice. And that was in back in 2009. Well, actually what I found is you get used to the smells, but what it does, it's a chelator extracts out heavy metals from your cells, from your body. So it's absolutely brilliant. Now, if you're doing any other forms of detoxification, which I'm going to talk about later, any other forms, then definitely take chlorella because what that will do is any loosened heavy metals will be absorbed by the chlorella and then you'll end up excreting it by pooing it out. Spirulina is a, another excellent way 
to get rid of heavy metals and also bentonite clay. But the one that I really want to focus on right now is something called pulsed electromagnetic frequency therapy. How does this work? Well, I won't go into the details of how it works, but what I will tell you is I've looked at so many different ways of getting rid of heavy metal poisoning. And I found that PEMF is the most powerful way. And I've tried it out, I've tested it out, but I'm not the expert. So what I've done is I've interviewed an expert. His name is Marcus Freudman. I've known him for 10, 12 years, maybe more actually. He and I have a conversation in this interview about heavy metal poisoning. If you want to access this webinar interview, then the link is in the description. And I strongly urge you to pay attention to that. My friend, when you're carrying heavy metals, it is draining your energy. That's the bottom line. It is draining your ability to think clearly. You have brain fog. There's many other repercussions of heavy metal poisoning. But the truth is, when you let go of the heavy metals by the correct procedures, using the correct equipment and the correct protocol, then you will find that you will have so much more energy. So make sure you click on the link and register for this webinar straight away and learn as much as you can about PEMF. And there's a lot we cover in this interview. See you then.